In the fall semester, marketing professor Keith Cox gave his students an opportunity to gain real-world knowledge by inviting several guest speakers to talk about the marketing business and what it takes to become successful in the industry. I have guest speakers come in because I think it adds to the educational process of the students and it shows how business is constantly changing and the students get real world experience of successful business people. If you have a job where you look forward to seeing your colleagues and you look forward to the work you do, you are going to be a happy person. Uh, I have had good jobs and bad and I can tell you when you wake up in the morning and you say, oh my God, do I have to go to that job again? You are miserable, constantly miserable. So there's lesson number one, should be obvious, but what you do, it has to be fulfilling because it reflects enormously on the rest of your life. You cannot separate the two things. You have to understand, you have to create value, you have to put yourself, you have to delay your gratification, and you have to work harder than anyone has ever told you. I mean, it's a competitive world out there, isn't it, guys? I mean, if you're not willing to go out there and beat the other guy, then you may not survive. So you got to realize that we're competing, and the world is the world doesn't do any favors for us. You know, As a matter of fact, more often than not, it kicks us, doesn't it? But what you have to do is have the tenacity to get up and go out and say, I'm I'm not going to let that happen. I want to compete. I want to win. Having humility in whatever you do, having empathy for the person that's across the table from you, maybe a client someday, maybe somebody that you want to be a client, is extremely important. And listening, I am still teaching listening seminars in my company today. We all need to stop, look, and listen. Listen to our clients, listen to our potential clients, listen to their needs. What uh, I do is help people to reconnect with their dreams. You're closer to your dreams than some of the executives that are out there that have taken a job just because they wanted to bring in some money or because it was going to be lead some traditional path of success. But where you're sitting today, you can carve out, you can make some choices today that will make a big difference in your life. What the students got the most out of guest speakers uh, varies, but the ability for students to come and talk to the guest speaker uh, at the end of the, of the lecture or the discussion is a valuable tool for people who are particularly interested in that industry. If you are a major where it was appropriate in marketing or even any other business area that the speaker was in, the students love to talk about uh, opportunities in that industry. You can either be a low-cost provider, you sell on price, you become a commodity or you find a way to add value. And sometimes adding value amounts to doing things without compensation. When you're young and you start a company, you don't need money. Um, this concept of I, I need money to build it or whatever, no you don't uh, eat peanut butter and jelly and ramen soup the same way you do now and just become an entrepreneur. You know, it may take one try, two try, three tries at finding jobs to, to bump onto one where you really love what you're doing your passion will lead to excellence. In other words, you've got to have a passion for what your work is and what you're doing in order to really make it work. It's very important with this global economy now to portray your brand or your image, or if you're working on a PR piece for a company, portray it globally, but never forget about the local um, emphasis or the regional emphasis. Find yourself mentors and coaches Find somebody that is already doing what you want to do in your life and ask them how to do it. Say, listen, I'd like to treat you to a cup of coffee and I'd like you to sit down with me and just let me know what it is that you do and how you do it. And it's a compliment to them. And uh, a lot of those people that are already successful, they know one of the secrets is to pass it on. The guest speaker, I think, was most uh, valuable to the students as well as entertaining is John Grossman who is the CEO and founder of Sun Packaging and that particular company packages huge big industrial equipment and stuff all over the world and what he did is he had students come and participate in a little experiment he had a big uh, bottle like this and he asked one student to come in and put in golf balls 
Then he had another student come in and add to it little pebbles. Then he had a third student who came in and added sand. And he had a fourth student who came in and added water. And his analogy was sometimes you think it's full and you can always add more, which is a wonderful analogy in terms of his packaging business. It's absolutely critical for you if you're going into business, if you want to be an entrepreneur, that you get your grounding in accounting and finance, especially accounting. You can't read a balance sheet, you don't know how your business is doing. You don't understand cash flow, you don't know how your business is doing. The biggest failure of businesses today is being undercapitalized. And if you don't know where your cash is, and if you don't know how it's flowing, you certainly are in problems. My experience has been that it has been a valuable additional tool and information for the students in my class to be able to hear successful entrepreneurs, successful sales managers, and that type talk about how they have succeeded and what they did. It's a brilliant learning experience for students in terms of career choices.